Olori Miriam has done what everybody will say, ah, she don't lose God. Yes, Olori Miriam has gone to the extent in which she she has done certainly what everybody will call her out and tell her that ah, you don't lose God on top of this one. Because yes, going to the extent of trying to get involved with Olori Naomi's church is one among the if I the least things we expected of Miriam. Yes, the last time she she stormed the church uninvited. She stormed the church at will. She she, she went there just to do whatsoever it is that she wanted to do. And then you know it became a thing of concern that ah what exactly is happening with Miriam? So when we say that jealousy can lead you to do a million things that you yourself you're not ready to do, it is no joke. Yes, jealousy can make you do a thousand things that when you realize, you'll be like, did I really, really do any of these things? So right now, no. What we are hearing, Amata, we don't take Richard like so, my people. This one, it don't end for Miriam. Yes, it don't end pata, pata for Miriam like so. Because she has gone to the extent she should not have gone. Miriam has done exactly what she should not have done. Miriam is just one single person in the palace who no matter what she keeps holding up no matter what miriam keeps pushing we have said this over and over again that no matter what happens at the end of the day miriam remains the vibrant presence in the palace that the only should at the end of the day be grateful for having yes he should be grateful for having and then in the midst of this whole thing in the midst of every single thing you would discover that all of these things are going down badly for her yes every single thing is going down bad for her why these women are just doing things out of anger they are just doing things in fact without thinking why are they doing all of these things why are they doing all of these things without being calculated why are they doing all of these things without proper thinking why are they just taking actions without being considerate of what will be the outcome of these actions it is the exact question that everybody is asking at this point yes because what miriam is doing now is beginning to be so so hilarious it is beginning to be hilarious and if you would want to look into it very critical you understand that she has gone to an extent so miriam has reached out to Lori Naomi's church in Akure and then the best thing she could do was to send some words across to them. Now, when they say Miriam sent words across to Olori Naomi's church in Akure, know that there is nothing good out of what Miriam sent. Yes, there is absolutely nothing good out of what Miriam sent. For sure, we know that Miriam and Naomi are not people who are rapoing like that. Yes, we know that. We know that Miriam and Naomi certainly they are not they are not on the same they are not in the same league. Neither are they on the same level. Yes, that is established. We know that. But all of them in their own capacity they are they are building their world yes you could see how miriam miriam carries herself how she does her things it is more like well someone who who is who who is building the person's world who is who 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 is controlling things around the person and then at a very long run you would discover that Olori Naomi is doing the same at her own end Olori Naomi is doing every single thing she know she feels and she she needs around her and she expects that it should be done around her that is what she is doing but today whatsoever it is that came over Miriam that she would have to go to that extent to threaten Olori Naomi including her church and her church members it is out of control and anybody listening to this will say that ah, miriam you don't lose god though. at the end of the day every single thing is beginning to be what the highest level of jealousy yes the highest level of jealousy that we have ever ever seen that this woman is portrayed you cannot come out one day and then you say that i hate naomi so bad that ah when it has accumulated though it has accumulated over time it is not just a day stuff yes you coming out to come you know threaten Olori naomi including her whole church it is it is one of the things that miriam would not even have had it as a thought running through her head because if you want to look at these things in a more diverse way you would discover that 
When you threaten Oloi Naomi, you have threatened the Oni. When you threaten Oloi Naomi, you have threatened the women of Elife, the youth of Akure, the youth of Elife, the prominent men, the elders of Elife. You have threatened them. We have not spoken about the women of Akure, the ones who have stood behind this woman solidly over time and they have not let go at any point in time. So coming out to threaten Naomi is something that Miriam should not even have thought of. Yes, and then in this case, she did not just threaten Naomi, <laughs> including her whole church. Her whole church. Now, there are, there are people worshipping in that church. When we talk about Naomi's church, it's not like there are no people in the church. There are people in the church. You are the only wife. Good. But these people, do you know who they are? Because they are coming to come and be a congregation to... To, to, to the woman you call your rival, then you would just wake up one morning and decide to start threatening them just like that with without any single thing at all attached to it. So right now, everybody is beginning to be concerned with what exactly is happening with Miriam, that she's coming out to do this. You know, at some time back, some person said that ah, Miriam has self-control. No matter what happens, um, she tries to control herself. Yes, no matter what happens, Miriam gets to control herself and she does it deliberately. Yeah, because um, Miriam does things in a very unique and a stylish way. Then you will see people like Oluya de Ronke, they are always overdoing it. Yeah, people like Ronke are just always, always overdoing these things. But when you come to people like Miriam, they do these things. We know, yes, yes, they have done things that are bad. But what? stylishly stylishly these women will do these things and and she will still be on track yes there were times that miriam overdid things those times that she even had to she won't have to run away from the palace yes miriam literally had to run away from the palace because of the things she did sending spies after living naomi and all of those things that they only did not so appreciate and then Let's come back to today. Miriam is still doing the same thing by threatening Olui Naomi and her church all together. Hmm. At the end, we might not say what will happen, but we'll definitely be here to see what will happen. Because no matter what happens, no matter what happens, what Miriam has done is wrong. And if the only, if the only decides to take actions, if the only decides to do something about this, then she would face legal actions. It is not right to come out and lay public threats on someone the way she has done. It is not right. Most especially someone who knows her right, someone who knows her, her left and right in this whole palace matter. Then you will just come out and threaten her like that. It won't work like that.